There is a long and rich history of Wisconsin United Methodism, tailoring its message of Christ's saving grace to meet the spiritual needs of immigrants to our state. Indeed, the first Methodist church erected between Lake Michigan and the Pacific Ocean was built in 1832 to serve the members of the Oneida tribe who had recently arrived from upstate New York. During the 19th century in Wisconsin, Methodist sermons were delivered not just in English, but in German, Norwegian, Swedish, Danish, French, Oneida, Ojibwe, and the Welsh languages. Up until World War I, it was German that was primarily spoken in congregations of the Evangelical Church in Wisconsin. One notable exception were the Italian-speaking Evangelical congregations in Milwaukee, Racine, and Kenosha. These European ethnic distinctions were largely disappearing in the years leading up to World War II. However, later in that century, Wisconsin United Methodists again recognized the need to include new citizens of our state who brought their own ethnic backgrounds. Thus, the past has become the present in Wisconsin, and those of the African-American, Korean, Hispanic, and Hmong communities, among others, are now included in our Wisconsin United Methodist family.